All right, this one is called When Manga Readers Spoils Anime. Lately, it's not really manga readers because the people are just reading light novels and the animes are being made off the light novels right now. But hey, let's go. Okay. Y'all watching this anime? You guys are in luck because I already read the manga. So y'all got to watch it. I can just tell y'all everything that happens. Yep. The most annoying people, bro. Straight up. I start re-zero. And oh my god. There's like different levels of shamelessness and gatekeeping. Because there is... I'm watching re-zero for the first time, right? And then there's the anime only that watch re-zero. They're like, <laughs> bro has no clue. Wait till he gets to episode 3, 7, 15, 18. <laughs> And then, right behind them, are another set of gatekeepers. These are the light novel readers. And they're like, <laughs> you think you know anything? Just wait until the sixth act or some shit in the future light novels. <laughs> and then, after that, do you know what's behind that one? The web novel readers. And they're like, <laughs> you think you know ReZero? Because we were the light novel. <laughs> A web novel, bro. It, it just never stops. Just enjoy the show, please. So look, first of all, everybody on this screen dies. So let's get that out the way, like off, off real. Bro, who would never expect that plot twist? Like who would Bruh. expect that plot twist? Unless somebody like me, like told you. That's, yes. that's not even his final form. Don't even get excited. Don't get excited right now because that's not his final form. Do you want to understand the psychology, the inner machinations of people that need this feel of letting other people know? I read the manga! I read the light novel! I know way more than you do! <laughs> These are turbo virgin losers that have never accomplished anything in their life. And they start to realize if that they read ahead of the source material, then they feel like they have this knowledge power over you. And they feel this sense of superiority, this fabricated image of pride created off of knowing more about fucking 2d anime bro just think about that what are you so fucking proud of that you fucking sat on your ass and read more so this is the part right here where you find out that everything was a dream hey look at me look at me look, i am the captain i'm looking stuff for the first time is overrated so yeah that's pretty much everything y'all need to know and you know what the funniest thing is? People like this right now, they're probably so excited. They're like, oh, they're watching ReZero? Yo, they're watching Mushoku Tensei? Tensura? And they feel like this urge to get recognition by telling other people no. They're like, I know more. I know more about this shit. But at the end of the day, that actually is very counterproductive. Because the people will not think that you're a better person or cool by simply knowing more from the light novel. They already think that you're a fucking loser. And then beyond that, these people are just lonely creatures. I'm not saying Sylvanas. I'm talking about the character that Sylvanas is playing right now. They feel this need to connect to other people. And they feel like they can't. And then their overexcitement and eager and the passion of the show lets them to act like this. But in turn, it just turns people away from the show. So they isolate themselves off of their own actions, which is born from the desire of trying to reach out and trying to communicate. But unfortunately, turbo version weaves. What do you expect from them? Yeah, bro. Good job. You just ruined this for everybody except yourself. Good job, bro. Remember the Tower of God analogy, guys. They want to be the star. They want to be the star. They don't want other people to appreciate the same work and enjoy it together. No, they need to be the center of attention. They need to let you know that you don't really know about this show like I do. No, no, no. I read the light novel. I read the web novel. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This feels good. <laughs> he don't know, bro. He don't know. I just can't believe I'm finally getting the praise I always wanted. <laughs> wow, you're so cool. Yeah. Man, you definitely got all the bitches, huh? Whoa, all the Man, bitches. Your dick must be huge. Damn, I bro. Mean, 
Korea? It is above average in North Korea, but thank you North guys Korea? so much. Thank you. These guys are the first ones to understand that I deserve to be praised for reading the manga. <laughs> Treating me like the king that I am. Who needs a woman's touch? Come on, roll out the fucking red carpet, baby. Give him the VIP treatment. When I can get this attention that I've so desperately craved. <laughs> ah, I'm just better than you. Just read the manga. You'll never get spoiled. I'm finally receiving it. The attention and the applause that I... Not kill him right now. Fucking kill him right now. I deserve... <laughs> deserved! Deserved! True. True. And yes, this is a comedy skit, but I am pretty passionate about topics like this. And it's always funny. It's always funny what kind of anime always brings this kind of people. And the common pattern of behavior that I've seen is sweaty isekais. I never get these type of people when watching Demon Slayer, Unga Bunga Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. They're all just memeing. They're just having fun, right? But anytime there's a sweaty isekai with great world building and light novel content, bro. The Turbo Virgins all assemble, mobilize out of their mother's basement and like goes on this crazy campaign of like feeling like they need to correct others and feeling like they need to even spoil others in anime only people's communities to feel this like sense of human connection that they will never get. Because these are overly excited, eager man children without any social etiquette or skills. And their autism is making uh, their passion for the story, this connection, this desire to reach out to other people and talk about the show that they love. But in turn, it's actually so counterproductive and ruins it for the anime onlys. And it just makes everyone look fucking bad. It's actually so sad to really think about the psychology behind people who feel this need to do this kind of behavior. It really, at the end of the day, are just lonely people that wants to connect, but they just fuck up doing so. They just trip and their tater tots are exploding out of their fucking fanny pack in the cafeteria. And you're on the ground crying, snot coming out. Everyone's fucking laughing at you. They don't give a fuck about what's going to light now. They just want to watch the anime, but that's pretty much it, man. Please go give Mr. Sylvanas a like on the video. Go check out his channel. And I'll see you on the next one.